Hey, my friend, Tanner Bell here. I'm so excited to share with you this exact plan for going full time in crafting if I had to start at zero again. But I wanted to pop in real fast and make sure that you are enrolled in our five secrets workshop. Inside this workshop that I am teaching live, you are going to uncover the five secrets that are holding you back from selling your crafts. I'm also going over the myths that keep you from selling your crafts and we're going to debunk them. Literally, this workshop is so empowering. It's so shifting and it's going to help you see the vision for selling your crafts, even if you haven't sold before. So enjoy this YouTube video because you get to see my exact plan if I had to start at zero today and how I would get to making consistent income. This is an amazing video. I know you're going to enjoy it, but if you're not enrolled for this live training series, you need to claim your spot in the workshop. You have to enroll. It's only lim for limited time and it's not here on YouTube. It is a amazing workshop, but you have to enroll so I can email you and tell you when the training is and give you the secret link. All right. Claim your spot if you haven't and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. I am so excited for today's video because we're gonna talk about if I had to start over today, my plan to go full time in crafting. And this is something that I normally don't talk about here on the channel, but I know over the past year or two, a lot of you have started handmade businesses and a lot of you have been able to quit your nine to five and jump in full time. So I thought today would be the perfect day to discuss my exact plan to go full time in crafting and why I think that would probably be one of the easier, better ways to get started and making money um, online or with local business. So first things first, a lot of you at home may be saying, Tanner, you don't even make and sell items for your business every day. You're correct. Our business here is to teach people how to use their Cricut machine and how to master selling online and things of the sorts. But what a lot of you do not know is the background and how I actually ended up right here today with a YouTube channel of half a million subscribers, a thriving membership site with tens of thousands of members and working on the internet. It's crazy to think that over a decade ago, I got started selling handmade items on the internet. And this is one of the most powerful things that I really like to hit home when we're teaching our students all about selling and making money crafting. It's the power of starting. And what I absolutely love about selling your own crafts is that you do not have to have a huge audience to make revenue. You can have a few qualified customers that are gonna help you start bringing in revenue very quickly. And let me tell you, building a business on YouTube and building a membership site, there are amazing ways to make money, but if we're talking about getting there and getting there fast, working one-on-one -on -one with customers is one of my favorite all-time ways of bringing in revenue really fast that I think a lot of people don't think enough about. So if I was to go get started today, I would establish my social media accounts and I would actually start documenting the process of the Cricut projects I was making today. And you may be saying, Tanner, why am I doing that? Well, I'm taking a play out of my playbook of kind of documenting the journey and saying, hey, let me show you a time-lapse video of my Cricut cutting weeding vinyl, anything like that, that can show that you're an authoritative figure in your niche is going to be amazing for you if you're just getting started today. So I'm definitely going to take that and use it because guess what? It's not any extra time to prop up your phone and document you crafting for five minutes, 10 minutes and speed it up into a 30 second clip, right? That's the beauty of documenting the journey. You could post that once a day or any time that you sit down to craft and start building an audience and building it around people that are interested in the Cricut, uh, maybe interested in just watching you craft and they may not even be able to craft like you do, but they love watching it. After I've spent time building credibility for a few weeks, I would probably then start letting people know I'm accepting orders. I would really go after low hanging fruit. And what I mean by low hanging fruit is pretty much the boring stuff. 
the boring items that you probably don't even want to think about because it's so repetitive and so um, boring potentially is actually some of the best ways to build a business when you want to start making money using your Cricut. And what I mean by that could be t-shirts, stickers, decals, mugs, anything like that that you could do, especially in batch orders. Could you do shirts for a baseball team? Could you do shirts for a Girl Scout troop? Anything like that where you're going to do a large order and you're not going after one order. You're trying to attract customers that are gonna to want to order 10 shirts. 20 shirts, 100 shirts. When I first got started, I had to make Christmas cards, I think for um, a business, but it was 75 handmade Christmas cards that I spent probably a week and a half working on and making sure that they were perfect. So these are the type of customers, if I was go get started today, that I would go after and start trying to attract, because let me tell you, getting one customer to order 20 is a lot easier and better than going after 20 customers that are ordering one. So I think that mindset shift alone is going to be a huge, amazing pivot for a lot of you and how you're showing up in your business. My first actual goal would be to hit $400 a week in profit. So I'm going to be very laser focused in how much it is costing to operate my business versus what is profit. Because I think one of the best first benchmarks is hitting $400 a week for a certain amount of weeks to hit consistent growth in your business. You wanna get consistent orders, but you also wanna be hitting consistent profit margin. I want you to really be laser focused in your numbers. One of my favorite things I talk about time and time again, and I truly believe this, if you do not have profit in your business, you actually don't have a business, you just have a really expensive hobby. So I want you guys to spend more time looking at the books, looking at what you're spending in your business, instead of just saying, oh, I love this, I would buy it anyway and spend the money. It's good to be educated to know what you should be charging and how much your profit is for how much time invested every single week. Once you have benchmarks and once you have a goal of what you wanna make each month or each week, I think in addition to knowing what type of customer you're looking for, it's gonna help you be intentional with your time. It's gonna allow you to know that you don't have all the time in the world and you're going after a very specific goal. So what I want you to also work on is again, building referral business get people to recommend you, get repeat business. Try to keep those people coming back to you anytime they need anything. If you have a shirt order, see if you could also make them stickers and then rinse and repeat for them and other colleagues. Let me tell you, word of mouth um, referrals are the best way of business and that's actually how I work with a lot of people. If I know a colleague that had a good experience with them, I'm 10 times more likely to work with them as well. So really hype up referral business and maybe have some type of reward or have some type of gift you give when someone refers someone I don't know but I would really focus on that because being able to build referral business is a lot cheaper and a lot faster than having to build a social media presence and things like that for example as I would continue to work on the low-hanging fruit, the easy orders, those bulk orders, I'm gonna to continue to rinse and repeat this process as many times as it takes. And only after I've mastered one product would I add on something else. Right out of the gate, I'm not going to be sublimating, I'm not going to be screen printing, I'm not gonna be able to do everything. I would focus in on what the Cricut could do, and only when I hit my first goal would I even consider adding anything else. A lot of people right out of the gate want to be able to offer everything, and that is not gonna allow you to focus in on anything. So I want you to be very careful as you guys are planning out how you're going to maybe quit your nine to five and start crafting full time inside your home. But my friends, it is so exciting for you. I am really excited for anyone here. If you just quit your job, maybe you be planning to quit your job, leave me a comment down below. I wanna know what your number one 
struggle is or pain point, and I'll try to give you some advice in the comments. But again, I wanna invite you to our five secrets to making money crafting, even if you haven't sold before webinar. It is again, served thousands of people. We've seen tons of breakthroughs and a lot of mindset shifts that I think you will really uh, find a, really valuable. So sign up down below. It's hosted by me. You're gonna have fun. It's right at an hour, I think, and it is fantastic. So you can check that out and even get the replay link if you can't attend live. There's a workbook, it is awesome. So check it out, first link down below. Subscribe to the channel if you found any of this informative and fun. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, my friends.